Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Laura. For today's recipe, what we are going to make are candied pecans. The pecans are nice and crunchy. They have a, some cinnamon on them, real tasty, full of flavor. Another idea for some gift giving for the holidays. I'm going to show you how to make them and then how we can package them for gift giving. I want to thank you all for the response that I got from my video from yesterday for the menudo. If you didn't get a chance to see that video, I'm going to link it up here in the cards for you to go take a look at it. I know that it's a big tradition to make these meals for the holidays, at least here in our area it is. So thanks again for all your support. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Laura, where I post baking and cooking videos at least twice a week. And if you like our content, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and most importantly turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video and also go and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay guys, let's get started. Okay, here I have a two and a half quart pot that we are going to start. I already have this on. We are going to start by adding our water, adding our salt, our sugar, our butter. Okay, we are going to attach our candy thermometer. Real important. I will link this one if I can find it for you in the cards below. We need to get to the softball stage of 238 degrees, okay? In this thermometer, it's very clearly marked right there. It says softball. So that's why I like it. It's very easy to see. So we're going to let this go. Make sure everything melts the sugar. We are also going to add our cinnamon at this point. Okay, now that the syrup is bubbling, we're going to wait till it reaches a 238 degree mark. It's going to take it a little bit, so I'll be back and uh, show you what this looks like. Okay, this has hit the softball stage. I am going to turn it off, remove the thermometer and add the pecans and the vanilla and we're going to give this a good mix you should have your oven preheated oh they smell so good you can smell that cinnamon This is a small batch. You can make this larger if you need it. Okay, the oven should be preheating to 250 degrees. We're gonna pour these onto our lined baking sheet. And you kinda have to work fast. And try to get them spread out as much as you can. Just be careful not to burn yourself. Now that we have all this separated, I am going to pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes and I'll be back and show you how to package these up. Okay guys, the pecans are out of the oven. I have some decorating stuff, some packaging stuff here that I'm going to show you how I use it. But we're going to let this cool down so we can handle it. Right now they're extremely, extremely hot. So I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, now that these are all cool, you can handle them with your hands. If there's any chunks like this and you want to break them up, you can. You can leave them as is. And I guess the main thing is not to be eating them. Mmm, kind of hard though. Okay, let me show you some packaging ideas that I have. This is my favorite one, the mason jar. I just take it, fill it up. Put as much as you want. And then I cut out some little circles, the size of the lids, and I just put them on top like that just to give it a little bit of a festive look. Tie a little ribbon around it. And, and there you go. Makes for a real cute little gift for a co-worker a teacher, the neighbor, the mailman, anybody. They would love to get these. And then just fix it up a little bit. And there's idea number one. I get always get, this is a little large, but I always get some little name tags and I write down what the, what the recipe is 
and I tie it on there just to the edge there or you can get these black ones look at how cute that looks okay let me show you idea number two okay and then I use different types of cellophane bags different sizes colors like this iridescent one or these smaller ones I think these smaller ones actually look cuter if you're gonna put them in like in a package type thing so you put them all your pecans in there okay we'll just go with that and then you decide how much you want to put now you can either put one of these uh, twisty ties on there like that and add a little bow just like that add a little bow and then you can put a little sticker on it I order these stickers off of Amazon put it right in the front and there you go look at that that's so cute it says bake with love they come in a row like this I forgot how many come in there but I'll link them and look at that how cute that is it almost looks store-bought or you can put them in this bag and you know however many you want to put you know you want to make double or triple batches of these and then you just fold it up and then just seal it with that and put it in a another little gift in a little box doesn't that look cute and those are just some easy little gift ideas if you want to do this for gift giving but look at that how cute okay guys that is going to do it for the video let's go ahead and taste these pecans okay guys I have some leftovers but honestly I haven't quit eating these since I pulled them out of the oven they're so good mmm so crunchy mmm that cinnamon you can just taste it lots and lots of flavor a real nice gift for the holidays guys if you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money and something that you make from your heart and comes out of your kitchen who's not going to love that okay guys that's going to conclude the video for today i hope you enjoyed it don't forget give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time bye